What's up guys, hope you're all doing really, really well. Today we're checking out Kira in her Corellia garb from the prologue of Solo, A Star Wars Story. Um, sort of set three years before the main, main part of the, part of the film. But uh, yeah, this is a, it's a good figure. Um, I do feel like they probably should have released um, Kira as she's seen later throughout like the Kessel escape and stuff like that, throughout the Kessel run and um, during her mission to Kessel to get the uh, hyperfuel um, before this one. But we, but I assume they're going to release uh, Han Solo in his Corelli outfit. You know, he's got the got the white white sort of vest over the black shirt and hopefully they uh put him out with his speeder that would be that would be pretty sweet um you could display them two together with this with this kira and uh yeah i dare say we will get that kira down the line um hopefully fingers crossed we still haven't got Bodie rook yet so who knows <laughs> but uh yeah I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this one uh this i had to get this from amazon in the u.s um, and it got here in a little over a week, which is pretty damn good. I'm taking the opportunity before, um, Amazon US start, stop shipping to Australia because, uh, the whole GST thing, it's a mess. And, um, but Australia's Amazon is starting to pick up. It's getting a little bit bigger. Um, it's starting to increase. Hopefully we can get to the point where the US is now and we can have access to all this stuff. So on the back there, at 18 years of age, young Kira is already en enmeshed in a life of crime working for a gang on Corellia. So she's number 66. That's the box. Let's have a look at the figure. Um, again, a great figure to sort of come out once they've got this sort of paint, digital paint app sort of thing going. I think it's really good. I really liked Kira at the start of the movie. I liked her through the whole thing, but for some reason I just really liked, I really liked her with Han in that sort of prologue. They were sort of wishful thinking young dreamers, um, looking to escape and, you know, go on, go on high flying adventures together. And, you know, they were just really just young dreamers and that they sort of portrayed that well with both of the characters. And, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Amelia Clark too. Um, being a Game of Thrones fan, um, I think Amelia Clark's incredible. I think she's awesome. She comes with her blaster pistol, which she doesn't actually use in the movie, but nevertheless, I should have looked up what it's called. I've got the uh, visual guide, but hopefully, you can see that. So we've got the silver barrel on top. But yeah, the face looks really good. The hair's really nicely painted and sculpted. I really like her jacket. I think it looks good. I like the sort of tire on this side than it is on that side. And she's got the sort of red, red shirt, which is very symbolic of Star Wars with that sort of different coloured sort of flap over the chest. Um, we've seen multiple characters wear shirts like that. Sort of dirty skirt from running around in the uh, slums of Corellia. A bit of weathering on her boots as well. It's a very nice figure. But yeah, definitely needs to have the Han, Han with her and hopefully his speeder bike. Not his speeder bike, his speeder car. Speeder, speeder. His speeder, speeder. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's, but yeah, really nicely detailed figure. Really nicely painted. Nicely executed. You know, she's got things like the bracelet. And a couple others on this arm as well. Just the bunching of the sleeves looks nice and natural. She's sort of got them rolled up. Looks good. Very nice addition to the collection. But uh, yeah, come on Hasbro, bring out the next Kira. She was a good character. She's a really good character. Didn't feel out of place at all having Han having another love interest after, you know, 40 years of Han 
Han and Leia being destined to be together, it just didn't seem out of place at all to have Han having another another love interest as a as a younger man. And uh, yeah, she fit in with the Star Wars universe very nicely, so hopefully we see more of her. Articulation with this one, she's got the uh, she's got that sort of new joint in the neck, which sort of allows for a good range of movement. But when you're in the shoulders, single joint in the elbows, uh, the sort of wrist wrist joint that we've got with most of the figures, uh, waist joint, uh, it's got the ball hinged hips and the swivel cut thigh there. Double joint knees and the ball hinged ankles. So, good articulation for this one as well. So, there is Kira in her Corellia scrum rat. Well, she's still pretty, pretty elegant looking for a scrum rat, so. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed this review guys, um, stay tuned for some more coming up, until the next video, may the force be with you.